morning. So I left home in Plymouth and the weather didn't look too bad. I know it's typical. Miserly Dartmoor. But today I'm going to do one of the walks from this book, uh, which is Wild Swim Walks Dartmoor in South Devon. It's such a good book. Um, highly recommend it. So today we're doing Walk 12, which is Warhorse Pool and Shavacombe Waterfall. Um, so it's a secular walk. I'm not going to swim at Shavacombe Waterfall, but I'm going to go and have a look at it. But I'm definitely going to swim at Warhorse Pool. I did try and find this the other day with my friend and we were at um, Ditsworthy Warren, which is the Warhorse house. And that's why the walk's called that because it's the one in the film. And we were, we sat, ate lunch there, like walked around. We just couldn't find this like pool anywhere. And there's like a big weir that you can see and you just couldn't see it. Like when you were physically there, but you could see it on a map on satellite but it's not on like the Dartmoor map so we completely missed it so I'm going to go out again today hopefully find it and hopefully swim there. They've got bivvies up, the army do, they must be staying here. So behind me, in the mist, they're doing war tactics today and I don't know if you can hear it, but they are doing like pretend shooting and they've got all their military vehicles at the Scout Hut car park and they're like going for a brief and like this is what we could do, I want you to do these tactics and I'm like, ooh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not often over this side of the moor that you actually see the military, but um, I don't know, maybe you might see some random guy just pop up, who knows, maybe we'll see them later when we get back as well. So from what I can tell, the guys over there are shooting at the guys over there who are in the scout hut. So I'm leaving the pretend war zone behind. I still can hear them shouting in the background and firing. But just heading along one of the main paths. The walk goes to Arlesburg Tin Mine, which is obviously disused. Um, but there's some interesting bits to have a little look at. So this is in the book. These are the boundary of Baratour Reservoir, which is for Plymouth Corporation Waterworks. And that's been here since 1917. So very old. Starting to see now bits of the tin mine from 1804. Because of the famous Dartmoor misery, you can't see much, but all around me is parts of the mine. And right in front of me is a huge mine shaft hole. I always think on Dartmoor, it's really weird to think of people working here and living here. It just is grey and difficult <laughs> um, but then I guess back in the 1800s a lot of stuff was grey and difficult and I guess you just had to do what jobs there were so it's interesting though Beautiful. 
navigating today is quite difficult because you can't really see very much. And I do have OS maps up, which is brilliant, and it really helps. This is the four meter high bone stone, which apparently is the biggest one on Dartmoor. But there's nothing near it. You can't really see how tall it is. So on the map, I always see these round circles and I looked for them and this is them. I have to say, I was a little bit disappointed. I didn't realise they were just heart circles. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the giant basin can. Kind of looks like a can. Not as big as I thought it would be though. Definitely seem bigger. Or maybe this is the can. I'm not really sure. It's definitely bigger. It's still not that great though, which is disappointing. I want a lot from my cans, but it has pretty cute flowers. Now I'm just following the stone row. So now I'm going to make my way down to the river and then cross over, head over, have a look at Shavkam Waterfall. And after that, it will be on to Warhorse Pool. I found the river crossing. It's quite deep. Deep. And a bit of slippery too. Just following the river all the way up along the side to the waterfall now. It's a real shame it's so misty because it's such a pretty little valley. This little stream running through it. While I'm trying to film on this precarious path. So here it is, the Shavakan Falls. It's not very big, but it's really pretty. So now I'm just heading to Warhorse Pool. Hopefully this time I find it. I will be so disappointed if I don't. Oh, I just really have my fingers crossed that I do find it. So I'm still just following the river in the hope that I do find it. Really hope so. Found the family of ducks. <laughs> So my good luck! They swam right over it! Flew over it, even. <laughs> this looks amazing! Oh, how awesome! Beautiful. It's definitely getting colder though. <laughs> Notice that after 
some rainy days. It's not warm like it was in the summer. Although today it's not too bad. It's a new favourite, plus it's close to home, which is great. Well that was absolutely beautiful. Absolutely one of my new favourites. Although, I'm getting quite a list of those. I think I'm going to have to stop calling them favourites. Though, what would they be? Not sure. Very lucky to live here. And those trees up there, that's the Warhorse Garden. The Ditsworthy Warren. And there's a path. And I don't know how we missed this last time. And here it is. Here's the Ditsworthy Warren, which is the house that was used for the filming of War Horse. Just going from the back garden, if you can call it that. This is huge. Oh, there's a swallow. So graceful swallows. They're just oh, there's two. Oh, there's three. It's flying around, and this is it. This is the house. I don't know how they made it look so good in the film because it does not look like how it does. I saw the trailer, but even the trailer made me want to cry because I loved Black Beauty when I was a kid. So I'm never going to watch it. <laughs> Not unless I want to have a good cry. I might do. One day. I think the swallows have got a nest. So I'm going to have a look. So I'm just going to head back now and head back to the car. I was so lucky to see that swallow and then hear the little nest. Look at all the little birds. Nip, 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 nip. They were so cute. And then see her fly in there. So now I just follow this back to the car. It's this lovely path that I do believe the people of Hollywood decided to uh, build for their TV set. <laughs> so nice easy last little short bit back to the van. Look at this little guy. He's weird. I wonder what he is. It's like some kind of UK attempt at scorpion. Well, we've seen it all today. We saw the army doing training, tactics training, I think it was. 
we've seen mining from the tin mine, we've seen wildlife, the birds, and we've seen the farm animals, the cows, the sheep, we've seen the little horses, and the war horse ball that we found, and a waterfall, and I saw three mountain bikers and not a single hiker. So people don't really go out much. Not far away, but then maybe they get lost. So it could be a good thing, but there's a good skill to learn. And weather's come out. You can see things now. <laughs>